Ready? Ready. Three, two, one. Woo! Hi, we're the Boomer Shines, and we have a dream of doing the Great American Loop with ourselves, our two kiddos, who you might hear in the background, and our two cats. But first, we gotta buy a boat. So welcome to episode 35 of... Bill, give it to us. <laughs> Good job. That's perfect. Otherwise known as virtual boat shopping. And today, we're gonna look at a Hatteras 56. Classic, very requested. Very requested, and we actually went and looked at this boat, so we've got a little more intel on this boat than a typical VBS episode. Yeah. But first, we, real quick, what is the loop? The loop is a way to circumnavigate the eastern seaboard of the United States and Canada using rivers, lakes, intercoastal waterways, and a little bit of ocean. And your boat can't be any taller than 19 feet 6 inches and any deeper than 6 feet, preferably 5 feet, really ideally 4 and a half or less. That's should, right. Should we dive in? That's very succinct. Thank you. I've gotten good at that. It is 35 episodes, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't this episode 35? Have you all gotten all that information by now? But for new viewers, they, you know. It's helpful to repeat. It's helpful. All right. So this is a Hatteras 56 foot, 1981 was the year it was created in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida for $375,000. I just learned my D, I'm sorry. If we go to the specs, cruising speed 16 knots, max speed 20 knots, length overall 56 feet, max draft 4.9 feet, beam 18 feet. I love a beanie boat. 70,000, 77,000 pounds. Uh, freshwater tank, 350 gallons and 1,000 gallons of fuel. And what's great about this boat, three, three cabins, cabins, three heads. and three heads. Which, the, the space, we keep going back to the Hatteras. The pro is that the space, you just can't beat the space. You get on there you're right. This is the a con, floating condominium. The con to me is that it is a boat built in 1981. But let's look at it. Yep, there's her outside. Completely shippy. She's got such a classic look. So we went down to Florida and we're looking at boats and we'll do a full <clears throat> recap of all of that later. But you know, when you see Hatteras in the in the marina, yes, it is a you boat. Know it's a Hatteras. A boat built in 1980, but it's just it classic. It just looks so perfect. It's like it's like a classic automobile. It's still sexy. Yeah. I don't know if sexy is a word, but classy. It feels classic. very preppy, classic, like. And what's great is a huge uh, aft area and then excellent passageway all the way around. The first boat we actually actually ever went on as a family. Was a Hatteras 53 or 54? We did a 53 in uh, Longboat Key. And then um, six months later, we got on a 56. Yeah, and just in case you're, the 53, <clears throat> the 54, and the 56 are all pretty similar. And we did a review or a comparison a while back, so you can go check out that video. Yeah. Um, but this, we're gonna specifically talk about this specific 56. And we're looking for a boat that has three staterooms because it'll be our two kids and a tutor, hopefully. And it needs to have room for Mark to paint because he's an artist and he still needs to be able to paint on the boat. So an increased living space like this would be great. Yep. So uh -huh. there's a three-quarter angle. What's great about the walk around up on the bow is they molded in a bench right here into this area to sit. Mm -hmm. I would build a um, a bunny pad that would yeah, go here. We saw a Hatteras in Captiva that <clears throat> had an awesome bunny pad with, with cushions that went up against the windows. I assume they take those off when yeah. they're underway. But it looked really like I would hang out there. Now seeing some stuff stacked right here. The uh, con to this year model particular Hatteras is that the shore power cord, there's no cable reel. So um, shore power cords are this thick and they're heavy and they're 20 feet long uh, plus and so every day if we are in docking and doing all that every day to physically take that thing, sometimes we tie up on port side, sometimes the starboard side, moving that every day is going to be much more physical than some other boats. Yeah, so imagine if like if you've ever had to carry a giant water hose around, they're heavy. And if instead of having to coil up a hose and carry it into the garage, you could just like push a yeah. button and it would recoil into the garage. And it's a lot heavier. It's than, a lot heavier than an empty, hose. an empty hose. It yeah. is, it's heavy. Yeah. So while it's totally doable, 
There's modern conveniences now on newer boats that literally you just push a button and it... And, and it's fine for a weekend, but living on board. And constantly taking it yeah. on and off. That's to, to me, is a big um, obstacle in buying an older boat like this. And, and maybe we could retrofit it. You can. There's some things. But we're now getting into time and money. Not really even money. It's the time. Boat yards are so backed up and we're trying to leave in three, four months. Here's a great example. Look at this walkthrough. So the walk around on this boat is great, and because we have two young kids, it'd be great to have a, like kind of a, a safe track. lap. Okay, so now oh, now that's a little camera trickery, but it is about it feels that big when you walk in there. It, I mean, it, it it is big, and we are Mark's like a fine artist, as I said, and I'm a designer, so we would we would make this look more like us. Yeah. So we would get a bit of a makeover, but we'd we, be fooled by the furniture and furnishings. <sighs> But we enjoy doing that, and that's something that I feel like we could quickly do. Um, and you get to watch it. We'll bring you on board. <laughs> like, we can figure out how to source what's needed from an interior's point of view. Yeah. Things that need to be done at a, at a shipyard that need mechanics or fiberglass work. Or, out of our control. Or out of our control, and, and I'm worried that we're out of time to get that done. But this is doable, because this yeah, is soft goods. Great big space. So this is looking, uh, you've just walked in, the looking forward, this is the helm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's a full residential sofa, a full residential chair. Um, you know, if I were to, to buy this boat, I would probably put a TV, some sort of TV console where that chair is with a pop-up television yeah. and better storage. Um, I feel like you could you could utilize that space a lot better. And it's a ton of space. And specific to this boat, we got on board. It didn't smell musty. It actually smelled kind of good. They had some, I don't know, essential oils or something. But it smelled clean. Love essential oils. And these windows open. So now we're on the aft back, deck. Aft deck, which is huge. This particular owner, at some point, somebody made this table, which is a high low. We would personally get rid of this stuff, this outdoor furniture. This grill was just sitting on, that's completely removable. And then these open and close, and here they have ice and glass, so if it were buggy or cold, you close this and you still, when you're on these boats, you feel like you are at a on a beachfront, or a, like a dock, I mean it's. Mm -hmm. I like this one because unlike some others, it does have ice and glass that open. Some of them I feel are fully enclosed, and then you're fully enclosed, for better or for worse. You you don't interact with people on the dock, and I kind of want to say hi to our neighbors yeah. and Doctors. you know talk to our kids when they're running around the dock and not be as yeah. There's inside. your view while you're sitting there, and you're up, you're elevated off the water. It's just a nice place to be. Mm hmm I mean, there's no better boat for you to paint in because any weather you could be back there painting. Yeah, it's covered, which helps with sun, rain. Now, this particular boat, these looked hand-built, we thought, but they were factory on some other boats, so I'm not sure what went on there, but it was pretty well done. This had a bar sink. Uh -huh. I don't remember. This was all just storage, if I remember correctly. And those are your only stairs up into the flybridge. Yep. And it's a ladder, uh, but they're normal ladder rungs. Yeah, but look at that. Yeah, it's wide. <laughs> it's, and it's still, you still have tons of room in here. Mm-hmm. Other angle, other side, walk around. It looks like the, like the Titanic. Don't ever <laughs> compare our boat to the Titanic Sorry. again. All right, now you're looking straight forward That was a towards horrible the analogy. So, yeah. There are the single stairs. Those are totally doable because the stairs are, the, the rungs are not that far apart. But if you're eating and, dinner upstairs oh, and that, you have to carry uh, a tray. Oh, that's tricky. You've, you've got to do this there's You're some other boats a basket there's up. some other boats where there's a railing and it's fiberglass molded or the stairs Fleming has a dumb waiter up to the flybridge all right here's the helm it's you know you stand at that helm this <laughs> this countertop is oh. about to here on the, it's like, and the cats it's, would love it up here oh my gosh they would love it and then there's doors right there Okay, so here, particular to this boat, which was a very well cared for, if anybody's looking at this boat, highly recommend it. Um, yeah, it was Really, great really shape. clean, extremely well taken care of. And up, some updates, the, the electronics were touchscreen, nav, uh, but the gauges are all beautifully, impeccably, 
cared for original gauges, but they are 1980s analog needle gauges. So to figure out like fuel, fuel consumption, burning. you're going to have to do math. Do, do your math. And Versus a newer boat where that's all built into the gauges. You just push a button and it says your fuel yeah. consumption. And seeing that one of us is probably not the best mathematician. <laughs> It'd be nice for the computer to do it for us. Yeah. But manifold temp, exhaust temp, fuel temperature, all that stuff is measured by modern boats. And you have no measurements on this boat for that? Mm. Oh. This boat, uh, well, I mean, you have oil pressure, you okay. have coolant temperature. Very crucial things, but if Not. you really want to get in the weeds, like see your engine is going top notch, you can get some other info. This particular boat, I don't know why most of them were, but this one's not st uh, stabilized. Um, so that was a... Uh, That's a strike against yeah. it. For us. But the helm and chair, the helm seat, this is a sofa, like you stand, you can't stand here and operate the helm. Or sit there. Sorry, you can't sit, sit there. and operate unless you use your feet and your Shaquille O'Neal is jumping. <laughs> yeah, all this is storage, all this is storage. You've got pilot house doors on either side. Mm -hmm. This is just awesome, shippy, brass. The panels are under here, so the AC and DC panels are under there. And then you step down, and then the you're stairs in. stairs right next to the helm that go down, or you can stairs, see them in the very right-hand side of the, the photo. Have a slight curve, and then you're at this dinette, Which where you sit as a family and I eat. I love a dedicated dinette and a dedicated living space, so that our family has multiple options of, of places to sit and work, or do homeschool, or just hang out. Yeah. And so this is a proper dinette, kids loved it. And the curtains are pulled, but when they're open, this is a sight line outside, so you're mm -hmm. sitting there eating dinner and, you know. And this particular one has really nice um, floors, floors. Yeah. and that's been renovated. Under this hold here is the generator and storage. huge storage. This so galley, you want the, to talk? The galley here has been renovated. I mean, it doesn't look brand new, but it is it is way better than a it's factory new original. New countertops, new appliances. But it's builder grade, They're and it's great. a weird They're, double oven thing. Yeah, so this has, it has a, instead of one big oven to put a turkey in, it has two little ovens, so I could bake lots of cookies, which makes me very happy, but there's no, well, there's no dishwasher in the kitchen. They do have a dishwasher on this boat, but they took out the washer dryer and put in a washer dryer combo in the hallway with a dishwasher underneath that, which seems a little bit odd for me. You still you have a walk dishwasher. From here, well, you walk from the dinette into the hallway and potentially and drop food I, down the stairs and on the carpet. I didn't love that solution, I'm not gonna lie. Now, looking forward, the, what's so wonderful about this boat for our situation... For any Hatteras, it, has this. They have this stateroom with its own head in the bow of the boat. So this would be where our tutor would stay, and it's separate from where our family would be, which would be really nice. They'd yeah. have some privacy, we'd have some privacy. Um, and they can close this door. And yeah, and it's got a great closet. They don't it's have to got, come out all day if they didn't It's got it. two beds. If it was just one person, you could put storage up above. Um, there's another view of the kitchen. Double ovens. But look at all the cat. That's it's got an great, apartment. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a legit galley. There's yeah. that um, front stateroom. There's a chest of drawers here. There's a, there's there's a tall locker here. right there. There's a locker. You can see the handle to the locker. There, oh, see, there's that. the drawer. Those are that's a lot of space. Maybe not space, but storage. And there's that en full suite. ensuite head. Okay, so now we've left the kitchen and we've gone down a couple <clears throat> stairs, and we there's a hallway to the master stateroom. And gangway. There, a gangway. Yes. In a okay, um, and there's doors to the engine on either side. Now directly to the left is your washer and your dishwasher. And a bit. There are two doors to each engine, forward and back, so you can get to the front of the engine and the back of the Which, engine. by the way, you would just love because you're going to be hanging out in the engine room and, and we could all be... In. Yeah. Okay, so here's the laundry slash dishwasher situation. So they put in a nice new combo, which is if it's doable. vented, if it's been... vented, I think they actually work. I've only experienced an unvented one and it didn't work great. Um, but then that drawer right there is their dishwasher. Um, 
you know, I'd rather have a washer and dryer there and figure out a dishwasher in the kitchen, which I think is doable. But then you have all this, this is storage, this is storage, this, is, this isn't storage, but this and this. Like we were on one boat, like great, washer dryer, where do you put the there's zero, tide? There's zero, well we don't use tides, we use drops and that's a whole nother video because it is way more You want to put the link right here? Yeah, way more environmentally friendly. I tested all of the eco-friendly detergents because that's the way I roll. And they don't clean quite as well as Tide, but But where way do you better. put all that in some other Yeah, boats. where do you put those pods? You put it right here on this boat. And this, this boat has a full, proper linen closet with a laundry hamper, which is fantastic. <laughs> okay, so that's the kids' bathroom, full bathroom. This is a, directly across the hall from the washer we just saw. And it actually had this grass cloth wallpaper, which was pretty cool. Yeah. Very fitting. It's vintage, but I kind of dig it, and we could make it fabulous okay so we lost our original audio on this and we're going to attempt our very first voiceover so what do you think about that mark that's the kids bedroom <laughs> uh i think it's a great space because the kids are side by side and it has a ton of storage they could put a bulletin board right there of all the day's travels yeah, it's got a full hanging locker it's got drawers it's got tons of storage and and great livability for our two little people there's a little bit of room in front of the beds to sit Okay, right. here's the engine room, the business <laughs> side of things. This is your this is your neck of the woods, so go. Well, and this being a 1981 uh, boat that had been updated, the engine room was pretty pristine, but let's call it an original patina. But it was very well cared for. You can see all the blue uh, hoses on there, so that means they were replaced, so that's all fairly new. It's just in good shape, but it's original. What kind of engines? It had the Detroit diesel. I think these were the eight V's, which uh, are turbo. It's the eight cylinder. I was told that the eight cylinders don't really get up and go out of their own way, and you want to get to the 12 cylinder, but that's just more cylinders to take care of. And that's more fuel. Okay, now we're in my territory, the master stateroom. Okay, so this bed, they say it's a queen. We did some very scientific measuring, and it looks more like a double to us. Um, so, it's, it's a little cozy. It's There's tight. me stretching out. See, look, that's not a cool bed. <laughs> Scientific. But there's great storage. There's drawers, there's hanging closets, um, there's an ensuite bathroom. It's, 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 there's a lot of space. If you, you, we talked about making this bed bigger, but the door you see on the left would swing and hit it, so that's a little bit tricky. The bathroom door. The bathroom door, yeah. So, you know, great light. Lots of, there's floor space, there's a desk. You could do your Kayla workouts in the master. That is true, but I won't. I'll do them upstairs in this boat. Anyway, Huge best, closet right there. best closet of any boat we've looked at. Makes me very happy. My caftans and moo-moos will have a place to hang full length and I can have plenty of them. Anyway, so there you can see the door that if you made the bed bigger, You'd have to rehinge the door somehow. And Bathtub. Then... Oh, you could soak all day. So, Flybridge. It's a little vintage feeling. It's not like super cush like the newer boats. It's the seating areas here that are. Uh... So, you could get something super cush built, maybe. Not in the time frame we need it. Not in the time frame. You have that. And that was hand, that was custom built. I feel like it wasn't like, there when we looked at it. It was, because I lifted it. I mean, it's like someone built it in their shop, not in a shipyard. Yeah, so there are much more modern boats that we have looked at that. Keep going. Um, There's more seating. Or more comfortable. Yeah, see? But that's all it looks like they took, and there's storage in all of those. I call it uh, pontoon boat seating. It feels like a pontoon boat. An old school pontoon boat. Yes. But and you could dance your... a jig, you could put a big table up there, which would be nice. Wait, here's photographical trickery example. Look how long that looks, right? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> See? That's what you gotta look photographic for. Photographic trickery. Okay, so bottom line with the Hatteras is that there's no better boat if you're looking for living space and livability. Interior volume. What you Gain and livability you give up in modern conveniences. So if you had all the time and money to, someone needs to trick these out. Like I feel like with like, you could just make 
a Hatteras exquisite. That's the track. The trick with Hatteras is, and and it doesn't. This one doesn't have bow or stern thrusters, and it doesn't have. It's not stabilized, which is ultra. Oh, but I like the seating right there. It's really well kept. You can yes. tell someone has loved this boat, and it was the cleanest of any Hatteras we've been in, and it has. Um, Hands down. It has some upgrades. Cleanest, most original, like, other than the electronics. If I were going to renovate a Hatteras, like in my style, this would be a great option. Yep. Okay, so. So is that what does that mean? It's still on the maybe list for me. I don't want to eliminate it because I love the living space. I think there's no better boat for you to paint on for all of us to have our own space. I don't love the age of the boat. I think Hatteras in general, yes, all day long. Oh, okay. There you have it. Yeah. Thank you for following along. We love your comments and your feedback. If you want to see what we're up to on a more day-to-day -day basis, follow us at the Boomer Shines on Instagram. And if you have suggestions on boats to review, put them in the comments as well. And thanks for um, being patient with us while we, we there's some big things, some big posts coming. Yeah. Uh, who knows? Fingers at this crossed. stage. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Shine on.